Well, many grocery store chains around the country are putting a limit on the amount of meat people can buy. That's as the fear of a shortage grows. Officials say the problem isn't a shortage of animals. They say the issue lies with meat processing plants closed due to COVID-19. President Donald Trump ordered plants to reopen to prevent this shortage, so workers should soon be headed back to work. In the meantime, News 10's Tilly Marlatt spoke with a local hog farmer. She has more on how he's reacting to this pandemic. AJ Williams raises hogs in Cory, Indiana. He started feeling the impact of COVID-19 on the pork industry in March. Uh, we've sold more feeder pigs, I guess, to, to the general public uh, this spring than ever. Uh, you know, people getting nervous about a shortage supply of meat and so on and, and actually going to grow their own meat out here uh, uh, that will be ready later on in the summer. A backlog occurs on the farm when producers don't have a place to take the livestock to get processed. The, the local processors are backed up uh, uh, October, November. It's into the fall before you can even get an animal processed. Uh, locally, uh, you know, they're, they're just overbooked. News 10 talked to the department head of agricultural economics at Purdue University. He says the consequences of this could lead to increasing meat prices in the coming weeks. It could also mean limited availability depending on where you live and where you shop. You know, so what we may be seeing, and I'm seeing it in some of my local markets, is more whole muscle cuts in your grocery store, more vacuum packaging of cuts rather than the individually sliced cuts of meat. So again, that'll vary a lot depending on where you're at, but I suspect given the reduced amount of labor available in these packing plants, that may be one thing that you see in your grocery stores. Baszler's Market in Terre Haute says they are not having trouble getting meat products in. You know, as of right now, we're hoping we're not going to uh, have to put a, a limit on you know, how much uh, people can buy, but you know, it's, it's still unforeseeable. At this time, the store is not forecasting any price increases for meat. Williams says some relief may occur once processing plants begin to reopen. Sooner than later that we can get our, our country back to some sort of normalcy here, you know, uh, uh, you know, and, and, and certainly you feel sorry for those uh, folks that are being affected in those processing facilities that they can get healthy and we can get back up and running. Reporting in Cory, Indiana, Tilly Marlatt, News 10.